I bought my first house when I was 19, and it was a bank-owned property, needed a lot of work. Uh, I did a lot of, laid tile, did a lot of the work myself, and it pretty much stunk. And after that, I bought some other rentals, and by the, time I, by the time I was 25, I was up to about 13 properties, and once again, in the rental business, it might work for some people, but I think it, uh, it, I didn't like it very much. There's a lot of risk, so I had to figure out a way to basically, you know, take away that risk and still make money. Because there's, you know, when you buy property and you're holding it long term, you're taking on a lot of risk. And with that, you know, searching on the internet, it, it, it almost sounds too good to be true, but there are techniques and, and ways to buy and sell real estate without using your own money or your own credit or anything. So basically, you started out doing real estate the normal way, you know, putting in the hard work, busting out tiles and fixing shingles and you know, pulling out toilets. That wasn't for you at this point. So you came up with a, a better technique in the Tampa Bay area to help yourself do real estate without having to put in the hard labor. Is that is that what we just what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. I, first, the first house I bought, I, I tried rehabbing it myself. It, it actually wasn't that bad. A um, couple houses after that, I had crews that did the work for me. Uh, even then, I I was very frustrated with uh, the way, you know, the project always takes longer. It always costs, you know, it always costs more. Uh, once again, I was putting everything in my, my own name, using my own credit, um, and especially when the market turned south, it, it, it affected everybody uh, drastically. So I just, I just knew there was a better way.